हेलो फ्रेंड हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू ट्रिपाण स्टडी सेंटर वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू विच विल बी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इट्स विल बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस आर कॉम्पोटेट एग्जाम लेट सी वॉट इज आवर टॉपिक टूडे द एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन है इन इन बिटवीन टू रेशनल नंबर देर इज आर दैट इज अ क्लियर क्वेश्चन है इन बिटवीन टू रेशनल नंबर देर इज आ The option A is only one rational number. B infinities many rational number. C many irrational numbers, and D only irrational number. That's the most important question here. But first of all, you test you your knowledge. I give a few second for you. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer. This question. You know that the question is clear here. In between two rational number, there is R. Exactly, one rational number, B infinity, many number, C many rational number, D only rational number. You know that is important question. But I clear that there is rational number here. Asking the rational number between two rational number. So it means the answer here is actually one rational number. The option A is correct here. Answer A is correct on this question here. Let's see next question. You know that next question arrive here. Next question here. What should be denominator after the rationalizing seven upon bracket start five under three minus five under two here? That's important here. You know that there are denominator. Denominator after the rationalizing. That's important question here. You know that is important. Solve your your notebook firstly and check your answer. Okay, the option here nineteen, B is a twenty, C is a twenty-five. These are none of these. You know that is a question is a clear cut. But I understand for the screen, but not our technology here. Okay, the answer is the most important. I give you few second for you understanding your mind and test your knowledge first of all. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer for this question. The question is clear here. Denominator after the rationalizing here. The number is given here. You know that is rationalized here. Plus there is an important and the option is here. Is it not a nineteen? Not a twenty? Not a twenty-five? Is here? Is it none of these? You know that you solve and answer is coming. Is it? Is it not a nineteen? Not a twenty? Not a twenty-five? Then option is D is here. Correct answer. None of these. That's important here. And let's see next question. Question on your screen. That's important. The question here: the decimal expansion of the irrational number may be. The question is clear here: the de decimal expansion of an irrational number may be. You know that is option A. Terminating. B is resting. C is either terminating or non-terminating, and D is a non-terminating and the non-recurring. That's important option here. But first of all, test your knowledge. I give you five second for you. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is answer for this question here. The question: the decimal expansion of the irrational number may be. That's important. You know that is important. Terminating is a not applicable. This answer here because the decimal expansion is a rational number. This is not a terminating here. And B, discrete. There is nothing here. You know that the either terminate or not terminate is nothing. But D is correct answer here. The answer is a non-terminating and non-recurring. Here that is important. Not terminate and non. Other requiring that's important here, and the, let's see next question. The question arrive here. The question is clear. Value of two two hundred fifty six bracket zero point sixteen into two fifty six point zero point zero nineteen is. You know that is that's important. The calculation here. You calculate. I also calculate here. You know that. You test your knowledge first of all. I give a few second for calculating this 
क्वेश्चन बट कैलकुलेटिंग इज अ वेरी सार्पली यू नो दैट इज दार्पल इज इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर यू थॉट ऑफ योर आंसर लेट सी वट इज आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आई कैलकुलेटिंग हेयर दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट देर इज आंसर इज करेक्ट हेयर फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज हेयर फोर देर इज अ ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट ए ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट यू ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट हेयर दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन The next question arrive here that is important and question here which of the following is equal to x power 3 that's important question here the option here x into 6 minus x is power 3 x 6 minus x 3 power here and b x 6 multiply x 3 power and c x Six upon x three, and d x six is power three. You know that is important question here, but very easy. First of all, test your knowledge. I give you few second for you. You must have a thought of your answer. Let see and understand this question here. You know that which of the following is equal to the x to power three means easy. X to power three. First of all, yeah, x six minus x three. It is not a possible here. Yeah. X six minus x three is not a possible. It means a is a rejected here. And the next b, x power six multiply x power three. The dots mean here multiply. Multiply means there is the plus. Power is plus here. Yeah. It mean x is a power six plus three. It means nine. There is a not equal to the nine here. B is also rejected here. And see the D option. D option is here. X power six is a power three. Means the power power is multiply here. So it means their answer is a x power eighteen. Okay. It mean D is also is rejected. So remember here C option. The C options here it is the most important. The option here x six upon x three. Upon mean divide. Upon mean divide, and divide mean minus. The power is here minus. It mean six minus three is equal to x three. It means C is correct answer. The x three is the x का six upon x three is equal here. It means C is correct answer. This goes with the C. There is a most important option for this question. Let's see next question here. Next question arrive here. That's important and that is easy also. The question is which of the following are the irrational number? Which of the following are irrational number here? That's important. You know that the option here under root twenty three under root is a twenty two five and c is a zero point three seven nine six and d is a seven point four seven four eight four seven eight. You know that is important here. That's important. You know that's important. But you first of all thought. What is the irrational number here? I give a few second for you. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is answer this question here. You know that that's important irrational number here. Irrational number mean there is a not a come to the number is equal. The number is unequal here. First of all, you understand the number is a unequal is coming. Again and again, I take a D option. D option, you see, there is a four seven eight. Means four seven eight, four seven eight and four seven eight repeating to similar number. It means it is a not a irrational number. It is a not a irrational number here. And C is here. Zero point three seven nine six. It means six is ending now here. It means C is nothing here, or irrational number here. 
and look here the b option b option is under root 225 225 means there is a square of 15 a square of 15 it means here not a irrational number reminder here a a is here right option the right answer is a irrational number here under root 23 under root 23 is the right answer a option is correct this question here next here the product of rational and irrational number is you know that the question is clear here the production product of the irrational and irrational number is that's important question here an answer away and integer b aways a rational number c away on irrational number d sometime rational and sometime irrational the options are clear cut here test your knowledge first of all i give you few second for you you must have a thought of your answer and note your notebook the right option and again check you the question is understand the product of a rational and irrational number is away on integer away as rational number away on irrational number and this sometime rational and sometime irrational that's important you know that is a, a is away is a integer that is wrong here that is wrong this is not a, a option and away is a rational number nothing because production of rational and rational number is not a is rational number the c away on irrational number that's the right answer that is right and this is important here away on irrational number is correct answer for this question the product of rational and rational number is away on irrational number that's important here and the let c next question you know that next question that's important a question here a rational number between under root 2 and under root 3 that's important that's important the a option 1.9 b is under root 3 point under 3 upon 2 c is 1.5 d is 1.8 you know that this is question is clear here the under root 2 is value value is here 1.42 1.41 okay and under root 3 is value here 1.732 this is that's important here that's important because that's important you should be minus for each other and this come here that's important i give you few seconds for you first of all check your knowledge first important and after i, I give a answer for you Rational number between under root 2 and under root 3. Under root 2 and under root 3. That's important. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer for this question here. You know that the question is here very clear. This is under 2 and under root 3 between. Between decimal number. The rational number is coming here. That's important. The rational number is a 1.5. 1.5 is correct here. It means to option C. 1.5 is correct here. 1.5 is correct. Let's see next question here. Next question arrive here. That's important. And question here. Can we write a 0 is the form of P upon Q? That's a clear question. The important for the exam view here. Can we write 0 is the form of Q upon P? That's important. The option here, A is, B is a no, C is a cannot be explained, D is a none of the verb. That's an important question, but give you few seconds for you, test your first of all your knowledge. 
you must have a thought of your answer let's see what is our answer for this question question understand can we write a zero is the form of p upon q that's important there is a, a is a yes nothing a is yeah nothing but a is a yes that's the right a is correct answer yes that's it as yes can be right zero is a form of p upon q that's important it mean the option is a is correct yes option a is correct yes i can be written to zero is a form of p and q that's important and let's see next question here the next question arrive here that's important and question here the three rational number between 3 and 4 are the three rational number between 3 and 4 are that's important here you know that is a a textbook questions here but you calculate of notebook this answer that's important because no technology for us i calculate for this okay you choose a option on this option the option a 5 upon 2 6 upon 2 7 upon 2 and b is a 30 upon 4 14 upon 4 and 15 upon 4 and 5 is a 12 point 12 upon 7 30 upon 7 and 40 upon 7 choose option that's a great but i understand you the three rational number between to 3 and 4 you know the 3 and 4 first of all here let's see is 1 upon 2 here 2 means is a 2 is a multiply this is a 6 and the 8 6 and 8 is a one his rational number here but otherwise is multiply by 4 both side up and upper and lower side there is a 4 12 and 16 12 and 16 that's right 12 and 16 and that's right means b option is correct here b option is correct clear understanding you Let, uh, let's see you 4 means 3 upon 1 into 4 into 4 12 upon 1 into 4 4 and 4 upon 1 into 4 into 4 means 12 and 16 but is here denominator is equal to the 4 and 4 and denominator is here different 12 of 16 12 of 16 means is here 13 14 15 as a three rational number is coming here it means b option is correct here the b option is correct that's important for the mostly exam view here next question arrive here that's important and question here in between any two numbers there are that's a clear question for the exam view here in between any two number there are only one rational number b many rational number c infinity rational number and d no rational number you know there is a question clear here but first of all test your iq level i give a few second for you you must have a thought of your answer let's see what is the answer this question here you know that question is clear in between any two numbers there are only one rational number b many rational number c infinity rational numbers and d no rational number you know that the option is clear here and answer is also is clear the answer is here infinite rational number infinite infinite there is a rational number means c c is correct only one rational number is not applicable b is a many rational number is not applicable and d is a non rational number is not applicable but answer is a c here infinity rational number that's important here c option is correct here let's see next question the next question arrive here that's important and question here every rational number is that's important for the all exam view you know that all competitive exam also the question is clear every rational number is a whole number b natural number c integer number d real number that's important question here but first of all you check your knowledge and note your option 
for your notebook. I give a few seconds for you. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer to this question here. The question is clear. Every rational number is. Every rational number is real number. Every rational number is real number. It means the whole number is rejected, natural number is rejected. This is also rejected here. The option is correct D. Every rational number is a real number. That's important here. And let's see next question. The question on the screen, that's important. And question here, under root 9 is a dash number. The question is clear here. Under 9 is a dash number. The option A, rational number. B, rational number. C, neither rational or not irrational. And these are none of the above. That's important question for the exam view here. You take a few seconds for choose of your answer and write your notebook. First of all, I give you a few seconds for you. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer to this question. The question is clear here. Under root is a dash number. Under root is a dash number. You thought a neither rational nor irrational number? That is a wrong answer. It also is a many student is a select irrational number, but B is a irrational number. It is a totally wrong. It means you select a A. That's important because under root 9 is a rational number. Under root 9 is a rational number. That's clear. The under root 9 is a rational number. That's important. And let's see next question here. The next question I have on your screen. That's important here. Question is which of the flowing is on irrational number? Which of the flowing is on irrational number? That's important question for the exam view here. Question is clear here. Which of the flowing is a irrational number? A under root 16. B under root 12 upon 3. C under root 12 D 100. You know that that's the most important question. I give you a few seconds but calculate this question on your notebook. That's important. Okay? You understand? You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer to this question. Which of the flowing is a irrational number? You know that irrational number. It's called irrational number here. First of all, a check a option under 16 mean there is the power of 4. It means it's a rational number. It means it is a rational number because is under root is here 16 is under root is equal to 4 equal to only 4 here the 4 is the correct answer b is here 12 upon under root 3 12 upon under 3 means and 3 is the cutting here of 12 is a 4 coming to 4 4 means under root 4 4 is a power 2 means is equal to 2 answer it means it is a irrational number, nothing here. It's a rational number. And 100, you know that 100 is a power 10. Means 100 is the end here. It's coming to the 10. It means D is a rational number. The reminder is C option. The C option is here 2 into 2 into 3. It means to the under 2 is here appears it means 2 is here 2 under root 3 2 under root 3 that is irrational number here you know that is a c is correct answer for this question that's important for the exam view let's see next question here the next question arrive here that's important and question here 3 under root 6 plus 4 under root 6 is equal to that's important that's important here. 3 under 6 plus 4 under root 6 is equal to. The option is a 6 under root 6 and 7. B is a 7 under 6. C is a 4 under 12. D is a 7 under root 12. That's important. But first of all, you check your knowledge. I give you a few seconds for you. 
यू मस्ट एव अ थॉट ऑफ योर आंसर लेट सी वर्ट इज आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इज तो क्वेश्चन से क्लियर है थ्री अंडर सिक्स प्लस फोर अंडर सेवन इज इक्वल टू दैट्स ए क्लियर आंसर थ्री फोर इज इक्वल टू सेवन मीन्स सेवन अंडर सिक्स इट मीन टू हेयर द ऑप्शन एयर इज आंसर एस बी दैट्स क्लियर थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन अंडर वुड इज द सेम सेम हेयर इट मीन टू अंडर वुड सिक्स एंड अंडर सिक्स नॉट अ प्लस हेयर ऑनली इज अ थ्री एंड फोर प्लस हेयर इट मीन टू फोर प्लस थ्री इज अ सेवन अंडर वुड सिक्स बिकॉज अंडर सिक्स एंड अंडर सिक्स इज कॉमन हेयर अंडर सिक्स एंड अंडर सिक्स इज कॉमन बट थ्री फोर इज अ डिफरेंट इट मीन फोर एंड थ्री प्लस इट द ऑप्शन इज हेयर बी इज करेक्ट सेवन अंडर रूट सिक्स दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हेयर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हेयर अंडर रूट सिक्स इन टू अंडर ट्वेंटी सेवन इज इक्वल टू यू नो दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज टेक अ फेयर इट मीन इट इज अ मल्टीफिकेशन हेयर मीन्स अंडर रूट सिक्स इज पेयर इज अ थ्री इंटू टू यू नो दैट थ्री इंटू टू and 27 is 3 into 3 into 3 it means there is a pair of 2 3 3 three is pair here it mean that's important but first of all check your knowledge i give a few second for you you know that you check your knowledge i t- i understand Under root six here two into under root three, two under root two and three, okay, and twenty seven here three into three into three. It's all under 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 root. It means the pairs here of here three and three. It means four three. Four three means two is under root is here, and three into three is nine. Okay, three into three is nine. A reminder under root here two. It means to the option A is correct. The nine under root two, nine under root two is correct answer this question here. That's important and the knowledge is great here. Next question from the cho choose give a below mark of the co prime number. That's a clear question. Okay. From the choose, give a below ma mark of co prime number. Option two and three. B is a two and four. C two and six. And D two and one hundred ten. That's important here. But first of all, choose your answer for you. I give few second for not your notebook option. That's right. Okay. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer for this question here. You know that the question is clear here. From the choose or give below, mark the co-prime number. You see that D is two and one and ten divided by the two and two. Do both here, and C also is divided by the two and two, and B is divided by two and two. It mean to the D C B is rejected here. It is a not a co prime number, but a but a two and three is not divided with both as a two here. It mean is a co prime number. The concern is clear. Answer is clear also. The option A is correct here. Two and three is a lower mark of the co prime number. Let's see next question here. Next question that's important. The question is clear here. Under twelve into under fifteen is equal to. That's easy question. You know that that's easy. Option A five under six. B is a six under root five. And C is a ten under five. D is an under twenty five. First of all, check your knowledge and. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer of this this question here. You know that under twelve into under fifteen, 
there is a here factorize here 12 factorize here 3 into 2 into 2 okay and 15 is a 3 into 5 it mean there is a 2 and 3 is a pair here it mean to 6 is here and under is under root 5 it mean option is correct here correct here b the b is correct answer because 6 is here and under root 5 is here it mean to the b option is correct here that is easy you take a mostly is a factorize here factorize method 12 factorize here 2 2 3 and 15 is a 3 and 5 it mean 2 pairs and 3 pairs here but 5 is nothing is a pair okay the option B is correct here. Let's see next question here. The next question arrive here. That's important. And question here. If the decimal representation of the number is a non-terminating and non-repeating, then the number is. If the decimal representation of the number is non-terminating, non-repeating, then the number is. Question is clear, understand? The A is an unnatural number, B is a rational number, C is a whole number, D on irrational number. That's important option. But first of all, you check your knowledge. I give you a few seconds for you. You must have a thought, your answer and not your notebook also. The question understand? The question, if the decimal represent of the number is a non-terminate and non-repeating, then the number is you know that a natural number you select that is in a wrong answer but you select a b or rational number and also you select a a world's number you are a totally wrong that's not a world number the option is here d on irrational number on irrational number is correct answer here and let's see next question here. Next question is the most important arrive here. The question here, the square root of which number is rational. The square root of which number is rational. That's important here. The option A is 7. B is 1.96. And C is 0 0.04. And D here, 13. That's important. And first of all, check your knowledge. I give you a few seconds for choose of this answer here. You must have a thought of your answer. Let's see what is the answer for this question. The square root of which is the number is rational. 7 is nothing here 7. That is the wrong answer. B, 1.96. 1.96. That is the square number root. It means... It's a rational number. B is correct here. And C, 0 0.04. That is a 2 the a square here. It means this is the right answer. Oh no. That's a 2 2 answer is the right here. B and C, right answer. But question is clear. The square root of which is the number is rational. That's important. It means B and C is correct. That's important. You know that this situation is most important here because it's a 2 2 option is correct here. The co option B and C is correct. This question that's important. This topic was till this. We will be do there are next topic in the next part. If you like it, then please like, share, subscribe, and share the video as a much as a possible. Do not think subscribe and save in your mobile. Thank you.